K-Dub here with another episode of Crypto Zombie. So today is Tuesday. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day today. Although, why would you not be having a great day? Bitcoin is up over 7%. At one point, we were up over $8,700. Currently, we have pulled back, but honestly, we are making this video essentially right in the middle of a pump, so it could be totally different. By the time you guys see this, essentially, we were getting closer and closer to the end of this wedge. We were looking for a breakout, and we did say that Bitcoin Bitcoin usually tends to be an inpatient asset. It tends to not get to the end of the apex. Well, we did have this massive breakout and essentially from the actual breakout point to right now, we are up 6.74%. So pretty incredible gains. We're going to get into that. We're going to talk about all of this today. I also want to go into why is Bitcoin pumping? Specifically, I want to talk about one specific level that, man, it is unbelievably bullish for Bitcoin if we can maintain above this level. And I also want to talk about some kind of mysterious whale movements. There's been over $63.5 million worth of mysterious Bitcoin transferred around the interwebs. We're going to get into all that today. And if that sounds good to you, you know what to do. Also, if you're not subscribed to the Crypto Zombie channel, what are you waiting for? We do this every single day. And yes, every Monday we do give away the Ledger Nano S. If you're interested, drop a comment on any video. Let's give this a quick refresh. Now, Interestingly enough, you are seeing altcoins pumping like crazy right now. Now, Bitcoin sort of led the rally, you know, last night into this morning. But currently, having a look at some of these altcoins, my goodness, you have Ethereum up 8.4%, Bitcoin Cash 23, Bitcoin SV 44, Litecoin 14, EOS 10. So it is just a crazy crypto party today. Now, I'm not going to lie, guys. We are in the greedy territory. We are 56 right now. And you know what happens when they say... People are starting to get greedy, so just watch out. However, I do want to say that we do have some nice volume that's come in. One point, almost four billion dollars for Bitcoin, guys. That is not bad. Anything over the billion dollar mark right now, currently in this environment, I will take it. Now, having a look right here, you can see we essentially we were getting closer to the end of the apex. We did have the breakout. I do like the volume that we had. We did have some volume on the move. Not as much as we've seen, you know, maybe back in like 2017 volume, but very good for for today's standards. Having a look, you can clearly see we have broken out of this descending uh, wedge that we've been in for quite a long time. I mean, this this is definitely, we're, we're definitely breaking out, guys. There's no question about that. And I do believe if we can stay above this sort of $8,188 level, which is basically the breakout point, but you'll also notice that it did provide some sort of support flip resistance over the course of this year, that would be extremely good for Bitcoin. And yeah, I mean, we're holding above all of these trends. The one I was most concerned about was this green, this major green trend line right here. And that was basically starting from the very bottom of the president of China when they had, when we had that pump, right? And then that acted as resistance here when we had that first pump after the dump and resistance here right before we tried to break out the first time. Well, currently, not only are we above that, but we're also above the support back here after we had the major dump that happened on September 24th. So being above both of these is great. Currently, that level is basically around the $8,500 level. So if we can have a nice daily close by the end of today above $8,500, well, that would be very good in my opinion for Bitcoin. Now, having a look right Right here we are above the 21 exponential on the weekly you could see this was holding us down last week look at how we just we stopped right there right we wicked all the way up to about you know the 8.5k level and we got stomped out well today we had no problem blasting through it and guys this is probably the biggest kicker of them all I do hope we hold above this. However, we are finally back above the 200 daily moving average on CME futures. This is such a crucial line. I cannot, I cannot stress this moving average, guys. Look, this is essentially what held us down here. Right after that first pump, once we got above it, we absolutely skyrocketed. In fact, we put in a little bit of a gap over here. And then when we touched it for the, you know, after the next time, we had that dump and boom, we had that major 43% rally. But then once we finally lost support, I mean, look, it basically just got out of control. And currently we are sitting right above it again. And that is 
sort of around the 8.5K level as well. Now, having a look right here, guys, I just wanted to point out, Bitcoin was getting very, very, very close to the bottom right here. We were definitely hoping to hold this trend, and it looks like we are currently. Now, talking about the 200 daily moving average, if we look at spot charts, currently we are not above it just yet, okay? We are above it on the CME, which I do believe is important, but to get above it on spot, you're looking at around $9,100. So keep our eyes on that. But I did say we could potentially get above the $9,300 level. You can see we've been holding above the 200 daily, which is around 6.8K on the three day. And having a look over here, you know, if we were to pump to the top of this channel leading into the halving, you could literally possibly see a 9.7K to 9.8K Bitcoin before having maybe a little bit of a pullback, right? Or we might have a pullback now. Like I said, there is a potential of even going all the way back down to about the 6.9K, 7K level. But considering that we are having a nice pump, Let's take it. However, do be careful because like I said, when you do have the greed, uh, you know, 56, we are getting a little bit greedy right now. You may be looking for some investors who want to take some profits, right? So uh, what is going on? Real time data. There we go. Okay, so yeah, look, we are having a little bit of resistance right here. So essentially that is the situation, guys. So yeah, I mean, can we hold above that level? Right here, you can see also around 8.4K. Look at that. We had a lot of struggle keeping up there. So that is something great to talk about. But guys, it's pumping. Okay, we could talk about the pump all day. Why is it pumping? Well, in yesterday's video, I talked about basically we were having extreme interest in the CME options, which did launch. And basically, they had 55 Bitcoin futures contracts or about 275 Bitcoins because remember, it's five per contract. So that was worth about two. $2.3 million traded on day one, which, uh, you know, it may not be a lot in the grand scheme of things, but it certainly blew back out of the water, right? So you can see open interest. And we did say this in the other, in, in yesterday's video right here, open interest up. And if you were to read the rest, it would say 70%. So there was that interest moving forward. Now, Murad Mahmoudab basically just says bears are deluded at best, dishonest at worst. And essentially he's saying, you know, look at all these averages that Bitcoin just literally plowed through. Everybody said, oh, there's just too much downwards, you know, pressure. There, it won't be able to break through it. Really? Well, it broke through. I'm not even going to go through all them. The EMA 200, 128, daily EMA, uh, MA 100, EMA 50, MA 50, daily EMA 50. Okay, et cetera. We're just, we're not above the 200 on the regular daily, sitting around 9,000. But guys, it is very possible moving forward. And I just want to actually give a shout out to Murad Mahmoudab. He actually had put out 50 reasons why he believes that Bitcoin, uh, as well as the price and adoption of the currency are going to explode. Now, I'm not going to go over all 50 reasons, but I do want to point out three that really stood out. I think you can appreciate this. He says, over the past decade, trust in traditional institutions has fallen off a cliff, presumably due to the rise of political polarization. Of course, we had the 2008 financial crisis, the public has begun to trust mainstream media as well as banks less and less. And I think anyone watching this can absolutely agree. This underlying distrust and turmoil sets the stage for the implementation of a new trustless system. <clears throat> Bitcoin, right? Global debt is swelling. That's the other thing. With the global uh, debt to GDP ratio nearly hitting 320%, he says, the leverage needed to maintain this system is believed by many to be drastically unsustainable. Uh, so yeah, basically he says we need a plan B, right? And finally, macro hedge fund managers and investors have begun to turn to Bitcoin. So, I mean, we are seeing this. We're so, the open interest was 70% up for CME, right? You have former Goldman Sachs executive. I don't know if you guys have seen the videos of Raul Powell. He started talking about Bitcoin, calling it an option for the future of finance, the best asset for millennials at this current moment. I mean, literally stocks are at an all-time high. Bitcoin's below 10K. Hello, no brainer here, right? Not financial advice, but you do know what I believe. And something that is currently dramatically undervalued being Bitcoin. Okay. So that is basically that situation. Now we did have some interesting whale, whale movements. Let's discuss this. Now, usually when you see massive amounts of Bitcoin being moved onto an exchange, you assume they're going to dump it. Now, if you see massive amounts of Tether being moved, you assume they're going to pump it, right? Because you'd be buying Bitcoin with the Tether. But if you're sending Bitcoin, you're probably selling it for something else, right? Well, interestingly enough, they had approximately 7,812 Bitcoin or 63.5 million. It's even higher right now after the pump. But the thing is, is it wasn't all just sent 
to the exchanges. Some were actually sent out. For example, 3,312, you can see right here, was transferred to Binance, where 4,500 was actually sent out of Binance. So that's actually more Bitcoin leaving Binance than entering. So what does that mean? Well, I don't really know. That's why I'm bringing this up. What do you guys think is going on? I mean, obviously, they're not dumping. The price is pumping, and they've sent it off the exchange. So Hodling, maybe potentially, could be a good sign, right? That's one transaction to Binance, and then there were two, uh, you know, from Binance. You could see right here. So. Also, along with the transaction from Binance, there were large amounts of Bitcoin that were moved to other exchanges, including OKX and Coinbase. There were around three transfers. So basically, I'm not really sure what this means, but you can see right here, uh, you know, Moonwiz says seeing so many transfers to Coinbase, Bitstamp, Binance, OKX, but price is not dumping. In fact, it's pumping and this is it's. It took a little bit of a dump down to 8.6, but I mean, guys, at some point, we're going to have a retracement. There's going to be a sell-off at some point, but this has definitely been one hell of a month for Bitcoin. My goodness, this January has been absolutely crazy. Oh, before we get on, shout out to uh, Crypto.com. I love their little ad campaign that they have running around. Check this out. The $22 trillion printer will never stop. Time for plan B. Then they have this up here. They got this uh, little trolley advertisement. Time for plan B. I mean, that's you're not going to miss that billboard. And also, uh, worried about the trade war? Time for plan B. Crypto.com. So, yeah, it's a great uh, it's a great, um, great ads that they got going on right now. I mean, I love that it's called Crypto.com, too. It just kind of, like, you know, solidifies everything. So, you know, out of sight, out of mind. But that being said, I thought this was kind of funny. So someone over on Reddit says, should I invest $300 in Bitcoin right now? And I love some of these answers on here. It's like, you know you're asking a group of internet coin crazed individuals if you should put money into the top internet coin, you know what the outcome's going to be, right? And somebody says, you won't get an unbiased reply here. You might as well go on a Christian sub and ask them if there is a God. So yeah, I mean, clearly we all believe you should probably buy some Bitcoin, but uh, oh, also there's a scam going around for anyone using Binance. They basically set this thing, uh, oh, keep in mind, it's update your informations urgently. Okay, so update your informations urgently urgently. This guy says, uh, watch out for scammers. Just got this in the email. Senders not from Binance domain. The button does not go to the official Binance website. Don't lose all your crypto to these a-holes. So yeah, be careful with this. This is obviously a scam. Um, always verify, check the address that you're sending it to be safe and definitely do not leave your crypto on exchanges. Right. And that being said, guys, I wanted to end on this one sort of positive note. Keep today's video a little bit short. This is an article by Sylvain Sorel. I really like this in Bitcoin. We trust buying Bitcoin is your best chance to reclaim power as a citizen. Now, scrolling down here, I highlighted some of my favorite parts. Basically, he says Bitcoin was given to the world by Satoshi Nakamoto. Bitcoin has no leader. It is totally decentralized and yet protects what you own since the maximum number is set to 21 uh, there, million. There will never be any more, right? This guarantees that one Bitcoin today will always be worth one Bitcoin let's say in 2100, right? In this sense, Bitcoin protects you better than the US dollar ever did. Bitcoin is a fairer system that puts people back at the center of the game. By choosing Bitcoin, you choose to simply take back control. The current monetary and financial system is unnecessarily overly complicated. Bitcoin is a return to the basics that allow people to regain control. And so the power, everything is transparent with Bitcoin. Bitcoin has the huge advantage of being based on mathematics and not on the arbitrary choice of a few people. Buying Bitcoin is a vote for a fairer system, whether you'd already be a Bitcoiner, if you're new to Bitcoin, etc. By buying Bitcoin, you are choosing to support a fairer system for the world of tomorrow. Bitcoin is the only credible alternative to the current monetary and financial system that is flawed and not fixable. And on that note, guys, I realized I didn't really give any uh, kind of predictions as to where I thought the price could go. My bad, guys. So essentially, I do think we need to get above to this like $9,105 level. Definitely stay above this 8.5K and obviously getting into this blue zone above 9.4 to about 9.7K would be absolutely amazing. If we fall lower, I've given you guys my bearish uh, outlook for quite some time. I would look to either get support by this red trend line or maybe even hopefully bounce around sort of on the top of the resistance flip support from the wedge. So that's basically what we're looking at today. But that is it for me, guys. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel. You guys rock. You are the reason that I do this every single day. And my goodness, if you stuck it out 
this far, you are a trooper. Congratulations, and you're certainly going to reap the benefits of whatever happens in the future, whether Bitcoin hits 100K, 250, 1 million, whatever it is, I'll be here and I'll be sharing this journey with you. Thank you so much once again. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed, turn on the bell notification, join the Telegram channel, drop a comment if you want the ledger. If not, thank you for stopping by. You guys rock. You're the reason that I do this every single day. My name is K-Dub. This is Crypto Zombie. Until next time, stay crypto and peace out.